Well, hello the new, it's only me, Leonard Wells, broadcasting from Studio B, here in the Giggle Mill in Haslingdon, north of Manchester in the UK. Studio B has, as resident studio engineer, none other than that very sweet chap, Adolf Apfelstrudel, from Beckless Garden in Bavaria, which is in Germany, you know. Uh, he used to be a driver in the AA, but he was uh, developed a drink problem and ended up in Alcoholics Anonymous. It was often referred to as AA from BB. During the WAR, he was very badly injured, oh gruesome, and um, he refuses steadfastly to appear before the camera because of those wounds and in case he frightens the children. Just occasionally he will, if he's approached correctly, he will wave. And I'll just ask him if he'd like to wave today. Any chance you might wave today? <coughs> I think there's a chance, but he likes to he likes to sort of keep you on tenter hooks. So I'll just ask him again. What do you think, Adolf? What do you think? <coughs> oh he's he's definitely not in the mood. He, he's out of skinful. He's feeling rather horsey. The other problem is that he's a strict disciplinarian. Something else that he uh, acquired during the WAR uh, and uh, refuses to permit me any more than 12 digital megaburgers per broadcast. This means I have to deny you once again the all-time thrill of my very forgettable world-famous re rendition of Nessun Dorma. I have two tiny little tales this afternoon. The first one is bad news from Japan. Any of you who's got money in the banks in Japan or shares in those banks, get out quick. Because this is the stock press that I've just read. It says here, and it's just come over the teletype, the ticket, the, the ticker tape. The uh, Origami Bank has folded. Dreadful news. The Sumo Bank has gone belly up. Always thought that was a bit strange, that bank. The Bonsai Bank is closing a lot of its branches and uh, not a day too soon. The Karaoke Bank is for sale and it's going for a song. The uh, shares in the Kamikaze Bank have nosedived. Ooh, plummeted. The uh, 500 salesmen at the Karate Bank have been given the chop and I gather that something fishy has been discovered going on at the Sushi Bank where all the employees think they've been given a raw deal. The latest news is that shares in all the banks in Hiroshima and Nagasaki have bombed. Thank you. Now my second little tale concerns a very large supermarket which should be nameless and uh, the managing director was in this early in the morning greeting a new employee he was a 21 year old young man and he said no, I'm going to take you around to the general manager and introduce you and he said he'll give you your instructions and tell you how to do the job and so on so I brought him around he said young uh, this is the young man who's starting today to the manager uh, kit him out and get him uh, um, working. So it gave him a uniform and then the manager says, right, he said, here is your broom, get sweeping the uh, uh, stairs. So the, the, the uh, young man turned around and he said, just a cotton pick a minute, he said. He said, I've just come, I had three years at university. He said, I've got an honours degree in philosophy. So the manager said, oh, I'm terribly sorry. He said, the, manager, the, the, uh, the boss didn't tell me. He said, just let me explain to you how you use a broom. He said, you hold it like this. Thank you very much, folks. Good afternoon. <laughs>